Well, hello everybody, it's Spectacular the Silver Stacular. Today's video is going to be about me going to a local coin show. This one is in Pasco County. Now, these are much smaller shows compared to uh, like the Orlando Fun Show. These small shows have around a dozen, maybe a little more vendors that will be there. Um, some won't, won't have the extremely high value uh, coins usually that uh, the larger shows will have, but there's still some great pieces to see here. Um, <clears throat> there's all kinds of, you know, dollar bills, currency, um, gold coins, silver coins, copper. Uh, there's some memorabilia, uh, all kinds of things can be at these little shows. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very interesting to go see these local ones. Now, uh, some etiquette for those that uh, haven't gone to these coin shows. Um, typically, you're dealing with many different vendors, so there's many different personalities. Some are more friendly than others, just plain and simple. <clears throat> um, also, when you want to see a coin or anything that's on a table, don't just reach out and grab. Um, ask the uh, dealer to get their attention and ask if it's okay if you can go ahead and handle the coin. Um, so now at this point, uh, I want to go over some of the videos that I took there and some of the interactions I had with the uh, the shopkeepers. Yeah. What would you say if I'm like uh, you know a buyer and I got a million dollars on me? Like what what one piece would you say is like a great buy from you right now? Do you have something like that with you? Today? I always say rare. The rare the battle is rare never gets unrare. Common is always common. Right. That makes sense. So you gotta buy something rare. Because there's always a market for that high end stuff. You know, Eighty thousand dollar coins, there's always a buy. Hundred dollar coins, there's thirty thousand dealers that have them. You're not special. Eighty thousand dollar coin, maybe five dealers got in the world. And then four of them are locked up in big collections, so one is available. Guess what? Now it's an eighty-five thousand dollar coin. Versus a hundred dollar coin that there's three in every show in the country. Well, why do I want your hundred dollar coin? Because he's got a coin. Oh, he just dropped it to ninety-eight. Wait, that guy's at ninety-seven. Eighty thousand dollar coin. There's five of them. Four of them are in family collections, going nowhere. So one is available. Everybody fights for one coin. That makes sense. Yep. That makes good sense. Thank you. It's just a letter? It's a it's Oh, that's a really neat. Yeah. So, it's during the war. And that's total history right there. My goodness. I see that. There's four or five pages of it. Wow. So someone transferred it. Uh, they, they had the paperwork, so they trans They wrote it up, so you don't have to keep on opening up the letter. It's three pages. Oh, transcribed? Okay. Yeah. One of the fascinating things that I find when I am at a coin shop, a pawn shop, these local coin shows, is that they don't carry just coins. They don't carry just gold and silver bullion. It's all kinds of old history items, uh, letters, stamps, um, Coke memorabilia. It's, it's so fascinating to see what shows up at some of these um, coin shows. I, you know what? I do, I do uh, videos on YouTube about you coins. Man? I am. <laughs> I'm oh. to, nice to meet you, man. I gotta follow your videos. Who are you? Yeah. Seth. Uh, the Seth. problem is, as you lose more and more collectors, oh, the new generation, you're gen they don't collect anything. Right. You don't collect anything. Well, I'm a collector, though. Right? Well, very rare. Yeah. Most yeah. people don't. Right. 20, 30, 40, 50 years, they don't collect. They either had it or they saw it. And they didn't teach their kids or grandkids how to collect. So they don't collect anything. So I'm trying to pass that on to my kids, you know what I mean? The, the coins are fine, you know, things like that. And... Well, these are Zeppelin covers from the 30s. This is an actual photograph. These are actual photos. Like a real deal photo? Only for 20 bucks. Yeah. That seems like a steal of a deal. That's uncanceled, that's why. But they run around that range. And then they got the old advertising, which is... See, that stuff's, front back. That stuff's cool. There's a shoe polish, which is a... Shoe polish, awesome. Now they got the kiwi. <laughs> yeah. Say, not politically correct anymore. No. 
No? We have the bird company. That's awesome. So, that doesn't have too much on the back. And then, yeah. That's awesome, too. Sometimes the backs are nicer than the fronts. It's amazing how much history you have right here on your table. Yeah. Or tables. Well, I've been, I started selling at 16 years old. I'm 67. So I've been around a few years. Oh, so you've always been a I'm an, anti I'm, an I'm an antique. You're an antique yourself. I'm an antique How myself. much for you? <laughs> I'm priceless. You're priceless. I'm priceless. That's awesome. So, so you yeah, you were more of a coins over here, uh, so far and round. You were more of a uh, a collector or a seller than a than a collector. I collected coins. My dad What's did the stamps. Stuff? Okay. Uh, but someone says you have a collection. I said everything I have on this table is mine. So you're right. It's all for sale. Are you looking for anything? I place anything I want. That's awesome. Yeah, a bit Canadian. What? What's yeah, that all about? That's a Canadian uh, silver. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Wow. Very that's cool. That's a stuff. Canadian Chinese New Year in the back. That's a buffalo from Canada. Canadian buffalo. Stick things. It's the old gold certificates from uh, North Africa. There's the old bank checks. So I like those. That's the ones they had to sign them themselves, right? Yeah. Okay. Very. Uh, what's What's this right here? It's not got inflationary money from World War World War One. Every country in Europe, Eastern Europe, Austria, Italy, Poland, they all made not go. And this was the local currency for each city. You know what? And it's inflationary money. I have seen these somewhere, and they had some funny ones too, right? Yeah, these are in. These tell a story. It's four to five in cases in a, in a, in a sleeve, and mm -hmm. they tell a story. Okay. It's in German or, or Austrian. You know, yeah, I seen I seen one, and it was like a joke, but it was like it was legit for that yeah. that area that they so were. This, they tell a story. If you lay them out, it tells a story. This is a set of ten. So they tell a story. <laughs> we got it. We bought it as uh, they were sets, so we kept them as sets. So it, if you read it, German, or then you you will see a story. That's the currency side. Those are so and, cool. <laughs> and it will tell a story. I really like these. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks for showing me those. Yeah, so the whole set is 13 bucks for 10 pieces. So it's 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 uh, affordable. And these were issued in the teens and 20s. So these, for the most part, are pretty common? Yeah, well, it's obsolete currency now. Right. Sure. Very cool. Thanks for showing me those. This with RCA. These are the pandas which come out every year. That's a 19. From anybody's way, just tell me so I can move over. I'll move. <laughs> I'm just playing right now. How you doing? Good. How about campaign books? In like particular, it's like really, really fascinating or neat. Wow, this is, this is a twelve hundred dollar coin right there. Twelve hundred dollar coin, mm -hmm. the Black Widow. Mm -hmm. Where does that come from? Australia. Australia. Oh, so that's from the Perth Mint. Yeah. Twelve hundred dollars. That's awesome. I have a few of the Perth Mint things. Very few. And these are all from Perth Mint as well, too, right? Yes. Oh, this is diamonds here, and this is diamonds over here, and this is has the uh, opals. opals. Yeah. Those are real diamonds. Real diamonds, real opals. I sold the sapphires. Oh, shoot, that has to be more than $1,200 for that one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's expensive. Wow. Oh, look at these ones, little Viking coins. Yeah, there's some Vikings. You got the knight, you got a Viking. And 
I seen one that a shop owner had uh, at a pawn shop. It was from the first man, mm -hmm. and it had uh, like a piece of opal, I guess, like right in the middle of it, and like an owl and the opal. It was sixty dollars. That's pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. so I got all the papers in the boxes for everything. I love their their cases compared to our oh, yeah. the U.S. men's cases. All the real. We see that one up close. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, they do some nice stuff. Got the kangaroo over here and the tiger. You know, the thing about them that gets me is that. Like every single thing they do is nice. Oh yeah. So it's like where like you could go crazy all day trying to get all their stuff. Mm -hmm. You'd never be able to collect everything. Like that. There's no way. No. You got some some of the constitutional silver. Yep. Where where are you at on constitutional right now? Uh, twelve times three. Twelve times. That's pretty good. If somebody comes by, I'm gonna like move aside so I won't, I won't ruin what you're, you know, trying to sell here. Right. Now, do you go to the coin club? Do you sell like at a shop, like a brick and mortar place? Nope. I just do coin shows. Just coin shows? Well, I had shops up in Michigan. So you're mostly a collector and then when the shows pop up and you... No, I'm a dealer. I, I had three different show shops in Michigan when I lived up there. Okay. This is, this is my, you know, forte. This is what I enjoy right here, the, the constitutional and stuff like that. Beautiful. I'm trying to fill up a uh, dance go right now, uh -huh. and I'm at the more expensive stuff. <laughs> I gotta yeah, get it's a... easy to get the cheap stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. everybody always like, starts off with the cheap stuff, and then they, yeah, then they want the rest of the stuff, and it's expensive. Well, I was pretty much able to uh, a, uh, a collector, or more of a seller. I I'm a collector. I started off as collecting. Then, of course, about 10 years ago, when everything went sky high, silver, that's when it, we have a beauty shop, my wife, so I put a sign in the beauty shop and started buying collections. And, yeah, I got, Too much. I got stuff in vaults here. <laughs> Saves. <laughs> It, it starts to get that way, doesn't it? You start off with a nice little collection, and all of a sudden you have to dedicate a whole room. <laughs> I can move out of the way if you want me to move. Oh, commemoratives. Pennies, nickels, dimes. You know, you the only thing is little of everything. Well, today I didn't bring any Morgan, so no slabs. I didn't bring any slabs. No slabs. Just uh, some of my eggs for a I got a few. The seventy eights I know. For some reason I don't know why I left the sheets of the seventies home. Yeah, that's all right. So do you pretty much go to like every coin show that? Uh... Yeah, I go to this area. You know, pretty much. Yeah, I used to do more, but kind of slowed down. How long you been doing this? Uh, since I was a kid, really. The shows I've only been doing uh, since about ninety-nine. Do you think like uh, coin collecting and all that is like bigger than ever? It's kind of slowing down, or what do you think? It's slowing down a little bit. Yeah. Somebody has um, like money from stuff. I mean, if you look at some of those coins, they're a hundred dollars a piece, or two hundred, or three, or four. You know, and they're like, no. <laughs> 
Well, I'm I'm very guilty of like being a budget collector. Yeah. So the cheap stuff, you know, I go for like crazy. Yeah, that's it. It seems to me, you know, they'll buy a little, little piece of silver or something. Yeah. Something a little less expensive. You know. I mean, I love this stuff, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah. I think everybody does. <laughs> like looking. <laughs> like maybe some... I told them I would bring nicer, like I have the Coke cooler and, you know, all the other... This is nice stuff to me. More collectibles. <laughs> See, I find it, I find it neat that like when you do the coin collecting, that you can collect other things too, yeah. and put it like with your shop. Like yeah. you have some jewelry, you have like the you know old pieces right. of history and the coke stuff, and it's just neat that it all ties in together a little bit. You know? Yeah, it doesn't have to be all. But when I had my store, I had tons of these other stuff. Yeah. and they came more to see that than, <laughs> than the coin. Make sure, sure the large scent off there. Yeah. Where's that? There it is. Don't worry, I'm not getting you. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> but yeah, they went to. Yeah, they, they were selling a lot of stuff back you know, around that time. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I can do more of these coin shows in the future. But until then, uh, I'd like if you can go ahead and comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, Spectacular is out.